Yeah, hi guys. So, um, yeah, I struggle with those ones that are the people that um, hammer you with. You, mate, you've got to obey the law and all that. And you're like, well, what law do you, what is it you want me to obey exactly? What am I not doing? Um, and, and they just want to put, you know, they keep, they want to hammer you with the law. You just feel like they're um, Old Testament um, through and through. Um, but, yeah. They are right in some respects. Um, Jesus still um, says that you'll be still like following the laws and and that sort of stuff. But I, I think there's um, a different understanding. Um, it, it's like it's the same with um, uh, you know you're not getting salvation through works, right? It, it's because you're saved. That's why you want to do works. You you just want it, right? Because once you're saved, it just happens. It's um, Holy Spirit working in you who want to do works well in the same respects um, so is it with um, the law with the with what with what law you'll be doing Holy Spirit will give you the desire to do it so let's have a listen to Sam here so the favor of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men because Jesus is the manifestation of God's favor and that favor that Jesus brings instructs you to deny ungodliness, worldly lusts, and that you should live soberly, meaning that you should live in accord with God's purpose and will. Righteously and godly. Now continue. Keep reading. Um, uh, uh, amen to everything you said, by the way. Um, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed, and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. That's law right there. He yeah. he came to redeem you from being lawless and doing things that are contrary to the law of Christ, making you zealous, putting in a conviction in you, a desire in you, and then enabling you by the Spirit to act on desire to do good works. That all right, so yeah, I got him there. I can see what Sam's saying there. So, um, but in the same token, he doesn't, um, because people are now looking into him. All right, give me a list. Give me a list of all the works I've got to do, um, to make God happy. So it's like he's he's not really being helpful in that respect. He's good at explaining it, um, that the law is still, you know, there. All right, so you've got. Let's have a look at Acts. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey. So if you're obeying, you've got the Holy Ghost, all right? So well, what's obey? Let's have a look at obey. So there's, there's two there. There's this one. Um, I listen, hearken to, obey, answer. Um, hear properly to obey what is heard, literally understand under hearing, is acting under the authority of one speaking, really listening to the one giving the charge, the order, compliant, all right, so the, um, and then there's this one here, um, 3980, I obey one in authority, conform to advice, obey, follow, this one is um, persuade what comes first properly, persuaded of what must come first, i.e. I, what has priority. Alright, so which obey is the, the one uh, here in Acts? Which obey is this one? Alright, so this one is... Fucking... Alright, Acts 5.32. Um that obey, it's this one here, alright, 3980, 3980, alright, so obey one in authority, conform to advice, obey follow, alright, what ones come first, so you just put God first, alright, so that's what it's saying, it's um, making priority, follow advice, alright, obedient, alright, so just put him as priority, and um, that's basically it. So when Jesus says like the whole of the law is fulfilled, um, 
uh, in uh, the two greatest commandments, right? Love God above all things, right? And uh, love your neighbor like yourself. And there's also another one with all the fruit of the Spirit, there is no law, right? So if you have all the fruit of the Spirit, um, you'll complete the law. So I'm looking at it this way. I'll use <laughs> this is one of the big arguments uh, that that uh, mainly Protestants love is the baptism one. All right, so you got your two groups. So say you got a, a group of people um, not in any church or anything, right, or religion, and uh, they've heard about Jesus and they come to Jesus, and you go, okay, which one of you guys, which guys, which ones of you guys want to be baptized? Uh, go on the right, and um, whoever says you don't need to be baptized, go on the left, all right? So, there you go. So, what I would say to you is the group on the right have completed the first greatest law, love God above all things, all right? They desire to be baptized, all right? It's not that this group's wrong, all right? God's not going to force anyone to get baptized. They don't have to, as it doesn't say in the Bible. Right, but these guys here um, have the Holy Spirit in them, and they desire to obey or do do as you know or listen. All they did was listen. Oh, Jesus got baptized. All right, well let's do that then. Yeah, and uh, there was other people there getting baptized at the time. So, and they were watching Jesus get baptized because they were all in line to get baptized, right? And and they also don't tell you that Jesus himself went out and baptized people um, after he was. Uh, telling Nicodemus that he had to be born again. Right? Just after that, he went out and started baptizing people. So, so that's that's along the lines of that. So, when it comes to being under the, following the law and what Jesus says is follow the law. If you love me, follow the law and, and that sort of thing. That's where it comes under. It, it it's like these people that are telling you you must follow the law and that, what they're doing wrong is they should be saying you must love God above all things. Alright? And you can't force somebody to love God above all things. <laughs> so, which is basically what they're doing. They're, they're trying to use a big stick to beat you into loving God. Alright? So, um, this is all you got to say to these people that, that are forcing the law on you is... Um, if you love God above all things, you'll want to do the law anyway, because uh, it's the Holy Spirit's desire, and uh, he'll help you with it. Alright, so I hope that was helpful. God bless.